Hello, hello everybody. Hope you're all doing really well. Uh, finally made it to uh, Scotland after a very long flight and uh, drive. So we flew from uh, Vancouver and I say we, Gavin Hardcastle and I flew from Vancouver all the way to uh, Manchester and then uh, I made the mistake of not renewing my English passport, so I used my Canadian passport. Of course, then I had to stand in line for 45 minutes, and then it took another half an hour or so to uh, get our car, and then we had to drive another two or three hours to uh, Gavin's mum's place. So, uh, yeah, it was a <laughs> long day. Now we're on the Isle of Mull, and uh, it's absolutely beautiful here. Actually, it's too beautiful. Uh, there's there's not a cloud in the sky right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I met up with uh, Nick Page and uh, Thomas Heaton and just doing a little drive from where we're staying. I think we drove about a, a mile and check out these bluebells, just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, there looks like there's uh, oaks in there. So uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look in the woods here and, and see what I can find. The, the light isn't terribly exciting right now, but everything is backlit, so uh, that should help quite a bit. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful in here. Uh, really quite different than uh, Vancouver Island, that's for sure. All right. I found a really nice little situation here. There's a, a tree here and it's kind of split into two and it has a lot of character to it. Now I think it's a birch, um, but it has a gap in the middle of it. But what, I, what I've tried to do is compose it so that there's some trees in the background that are all kind of twisted and I have those in the center. So we have one side of the, the tree in the foreground going over to the right and then the other trees going, or the other half of the tree going to the left side and then we have the twisted trees in the middle so it adds a has a quite a bit of interest to it and then of course we have the the blue bells in between intermix so it has a, a nice uh, little contrast of color a little splash of color I think it's gonna work pretty good oh, and there's some orange in the back I think that's Tom <laughs> that adds a really nice contrast but yeah, I think, I, I think this is going to work. Now there is a little bit of debris in the center there, so I think I'm just going to clean that up a little bit uh, so I don't have to Photoshop it out later on. It's just easier to do it when you're on site rather than trying to do it all after. Okay, I'm going to apologize ahead of time here uh, if the colors are slightly off or the sharpness is a bit too crispy. Uh, the reason being is that I'm sitting in a hotel on the Faroe Islands uh, editing this video on my little uh, MacBook Air, which isn't the greatest setup, uh, but it'll have to do because I really wanted to get this video out to you guys. Uh, missing two weeks in a row just won't cut it. So this first image here, I really quite liked the, uh, the final composition and I particularly like the uh, little dash of light hitting the trees in the background there. That was just an added bonus that I didn't have an awful lot of control over. Uh, the fact that the, the tree has so much character really adds to the, to the whole image, I think. And <clears throat> because we have this gap in the middle between the two uh, halves of this tree, it kind of uh, gives you a bit of room to walk through the tree and into the scene, and I really like that. I also like the way that the the trees in the background were kind of mimicking the branches in the foreground. So if you look at the right side here, you'll see that the all the branches are kind of leaning over to the right and also in the background. And then we have the twisted uh, half on the left side, which is kind of being mimicked in, in the background as well by those group of trees. And then of course way over on the left side uh, there was some light coming into uh, the forest there. Now this, the highlights or the specular highlights are blown out but in this case it doesn't really bother me that much because they're so small in the frame that um, 
it's not going to be all that noticeable. What I did try to do though is brighten up the center of the image quite a bit so that your eye isn't drawn over to the left side of the frame there. But overall, I, yeah, I really like this image and I stuck with this character tree for quite some time because uh, there was a, I think there was a lot of potential to it. Now, if you look at this image here, here's another variation of the same composition. And you'll notice that there's uh, one section here on the right that doesn't have very many bluebells. It's kind of a, a bit of a clear patch. And that was quite distracting. So in the first composition that I just showed you, you'll notice that I'm trying to hide it a little bit by the branches in the foreground. So these are things that you might want to think about when you are composing your images is if you see something with your eyes that you think might be a little distracting in the final image uh, then definitely try to cover it up somehow with either branches or an object so that the viewer can't see uh, that uh, distraction because uh, it certainly won't disappear when you load it up to your, to your computer and if you haven't taken any variations then you're going to be kicking yourself now you could try and fill an area in with some cloning, but in this case that area is just too big and uh, I didn't really fancy the, uh, the prospect of doing that. So I've tried to hide it up as much as possible. Okay, now this second image of the same tree, I really like, and I think I like this version better than the first one. Uh, the reason why I like this so much is I, I really like that uh, specular highlight or the highlight of where the sun is, is coming through. That really adds quite a bit to the photograph. And I also like the bright background where you can see the evening light kind of penetrating the woods in the background. Just the twisted nature of this tree and that beautiful moss uh, surrounded by the bluebells really kind of brought home this area to me and it, I, I think it represents uh, this small patch quite well. The only thing that I'm, I'm not too sure about and I'll show you the two versions here uh, there's the full frame version and then there's also a 4x5 cropped version. I'd be interested to know which version you guys like best. All right, the, the sun is just starting to set and uh, I've taken my shots already because uh, I didn't want to miss the light, but all these ferns down here were backlit as well as, uh, I think there's a hawthorn in the middle there. It smells really nice, uh, but the midges are starting to come out. I think that might be it for the light for this evening, unless uh, I walk out that way. Uh, but this, yeah, this was really pretty. I hope I got some shots. I only took two or three different compositions of uh, different areas. Uh, I didn't want to rush around looking for stuff because I didn't think I'd find, you know, a ton of really good compositions, as pretty as it is. Okay, and the last image in this video, uh, the light was really quite lovely. Sun was just going down behind the horizon line there. Now I must admit, I did have a bit of a hard time processing this one on my laptop because it looks a little bit too blue and also a little bit too crispy in that it looks over sharpened. Uh, but I'm sure that uh, you guys can forgive me if it's off just a little bit. Now, as far as the composition goes, I did have a bit of a hard time with this one uh, because a lot of the interest is on the left side of the frame. And now there was these birches on the, on the right hand side, but I really had to uh, brighten them up to, to, so that you could see them. And even now, as I look at the photograph, it just looks like everything's leaning over to the left and the birches on the right are kind of a little bit separate from the whole image. 
So my question to you again, like the last photograph, do you like this full frame version better? Or do you like the cropped version that you see now, the 4x5 version? Let me know in the comments below. I'd really be interested to uh, hear what your thoughts are on these photographs. All right, everybody, I'm going to leave it there for now. I realized that this was a short video, but I really did want to get something out uh, so I didn't feel like I was neglecting you guys. If you could leave me a thumbs up, if you did enjoy the video, that would be excellent. And as always, please be sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content of my channel. Stay tuned for next week. Hopefully I'll have another video out. Uh, all depends on timing. I'm sure I'll be able to squeeze something out uh, and it will be a little bit better in the color uh, realm of things. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Until next time. Bye for now.